I'm Meg McNamara. Thanks so much for checking out this WJZ.com update. We are tracking some strong storms. So it's this line right here that we're most concerned with. And you'll notice this area of red here. This is a tornado watch. And then we're seeing these boxes here of yellow, of red. That would be severe thunderstorm warnings and even some tornado warnings. So there has been rotation with this line and it is expected to move across the state. It looks like later on tonight. So we'll time that out for you in just a second. As for what the severe threat is for Maryland, well, you'll notice we're on the low end here, only under a marginal risk for strong to severe storms. Marginal being a one out of five, one being the lowest, five being the highest. As for what we can expect as far as that severe threat for us, it looks like damaging winds are the main concern. There is a small chance that we could see a tornado, but really that's on the lower end. We're also looking at some very efficient rainmakers tracking through, so we could see one to three inches of rain. That could lead to some isolated incidents of flooding. As for temperatures, Baltimore, we are at 44 right now. Most of us here in the mid-40s. Keep in mind, temperatures are actually going to warm a little bit overnight thanks to warm front that's going to move through. And then obviously that strong line of storms, that's associated with a cold front front that will move through. Winds, they are out of the east here, 25 miles an hour for Baltimore, 16 for D.C. And rare that we see winds out of the east. What happened was we had a backdoor cold front move through, and that just means backdoor, meaning it came from the east and tracked on through, which is just very rare. Obviously, usually we see them moving west to east. Okay, I'll step over here and show you this system here on the radar. So you can see there's the line that we're watching ahead of this cold front that is going to track through. Let's time it out for you. So we'll jump the future cast to tonight at midnight, and that's actually when we see it starting to move into western Maryland. Then by 4 a.m., we start to see it move into the Baltimore area here with this cold front. So this is the line that we're watching. You can see definitely some pockets of heavy rain in there. And then we actually should be done with this strong line of storms by the time the sun comes up tomorrow morning. Showers continue to be possible throughout the day tomorrow. And then by Tuesday and Wednesday, we quiet down because of high pressure. So tonight, temperatures mainly are going to be in the upper 40s, even into the low 50s. And then tomorrow, this high of 61 degrees, our five-day forecast here. So once we get through tonight and Monday, Tuesday, we actually see the sunshine come back out 53, but we jump back into the 60s by Wednesday. I'm Meg McNamara with an update coming up on WJZ.